Hello, my friends. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome for the first time or one of many. Thank you for welcoming me into your home as well. I'm so delighted to see you here today because here on Touching the Edge, we are always looking at ways to shift our relationship to opinion. Recognizing the opinion is important, but it isn't necessarily the center. It's not necessarily real. It's not necessarily accurate. So let's talk about when we become angry. What happens when we become angry? How do we handle that? How do we handle that anger so that we don't end up doing something that we regret? It only takes one split second of anger, if not in proper relationship, to do something that you regret for the rest of your life. I'm not saying that we shouldn't allow ourselves to experience anger, but when it becomes out of control, when it becomes a raging fire, that means that we may go too far in its expression. So I want to suggest to you some simple ideas about how to shift that relationship to, to anger in real time so that you are more likely to handle things in a way that you actually feel good about. So today, let's just talk about a simple technique, a very, very simple technique. Right when you first experience that, that moment of anger, recognize that when you do become angry, you are likely to fall asleep. It's like sleepwalking. So how do we stay present? One of the best ways to stay present is very, very simple. As soon as you recognize that you're angry, begin to slow your breathing down and begin to count your breaths in three sets of four breaths. That's all you have to do. Count three sets of four breaths. Three times, count four breaths. And you will find that you are much more grounded in the process. Also, when you are focused on that person you're angry with, open up and be aware of your peripheral vision. This will allow yourself to ground and also not become trapped in that individual vision of anger. Let's be aware that when we become irrational, we're not aware that we're irrational. But when you activate this slowing the breath down and counting the breath, you will step outside of the, the bubble of the anger and be able to let things flow through you and find ways to de-escalate it. Finally, recognize one reframing. You don't become angry. You experience anger. And that's a very, very different experience. It's a very, very different thing to realize that you are not anger itself. So thank you so much for joining me. Be one of those people who's making the world a better place, not a more angry place. I'm going to ring the bell. I'm going to ask you to listen carefully. Experience, emotions like anger and fear have their place we don't want to have them frame our reality. I bring my hands in a prayer position and I bow to you with great respect. Namaste. Thank you.